All right, let's crack a like in YouTube. Welcome back to another reseller game. This is number four. It is about to go down. I get so excited for these games. By now, you guys know the drill. I had four people send me a package. They will be competing on who has the coolest graphic sweatshirt. These reseller games have been so much fun to film, to do, to open up the community, whether you are a reseller of anything or whether you're into vintage. It appears the community really loves these videos. I'm going to keep it going. Please click that little like button. Give me a little bit of you know recognition for what I'm doing here. I would greatly appreciate it. I will be keeping these reseller games going. There will be more. In fact, this is reseller game number four. And I will introduce the contestants here in one second, but the winner of this game will be joining Lucky Strike Co., Glox Gems, Champion City Vintage Thrift in the bracket competing on that championship game. We're going to do something crazy for the champ game. We're going to up the ante a little bit. We're going to have multiple items being sent in. We're going to have the value skyrocket in these games. It's got to be epic for the first championship game. So I'm doing big things here on my small channel. A like goes a very long way and it's the least you guys can do. I thank you guys for doing that. And honestly, I just appreciate everybody who's been playing, participating in these games. It's been so much fun. Guys, I just got done filming this and I am sweating. This reseller game for got me really worked up. I honestly think this will be the closest call on the voting. Honestly, I think this is the most fair game that we've had yet. All of these are valued right around the same price range. All of them are a cool graphic. It's going to be tough for you guys to decide on a winner. This one turned out really fair. I'm very pleased with this, and I can't thank you guys enough. All right, to start, I want to introduce the four contestants, and then I will read you guys the rules that I sent them. Okay, here are the rules, just so you guys all know what we got going on here. <clears throat> I said, you and three others will send in a crew neck sweatshirt or a hoodie or a windbreaker that has an awesome graphic on it. The people, you guys, my viewers, you will get 48 hours to vote in the comment section of this video on who you think sent in the coolest graphics. So whatever your definition is for a cool graphic, your vote counts, you get to, you know, you get to make your vote down in the comments. I had like 70 comments on my last video. Pff, amazing. And I want this video to get to 100. Like this got to be the biggest one yet. Uh, so yeah, the people will vote on the coolest graphic and whatever you send in has to have a value of $40 or less. If the community, if the people think it's valued over $40 on like the resale market, then you are disqualified. You will get your item back. Thank you for playing and the winner takes all. So whoever wins this, you know, they got a little gamble on the table, just like the last game. Whoever wins after the 48 hours gets to take home all four of these items. Those are the rules. Now it's time to meet our contestants. We have at rack to back, we have mostly vintage. The man, the myth, the legend, prophet, monsters. And then 20 years awesome. All four of these guys think that they have the coolest graphic crew neck sweatshirts. And without further ado, let's begin the games. If you have not seen the first three games, definitely go check them out. You guys will kind of understand why I like graphic t-shirts and why I, I like vintage stuff so much. I think the majority of you get the gist though by now. By the way, my Frankie Valley t-shirt. Never seen another one. Our first contestant is Rack to Bat. What? For a graphic windbreaker, this thing has wolves all over it. It's probably every type of wolf that's ever lived on this planet. I'll give you guys a closer look at what we got going on. An all over print wolf, even down the sleeves, even when you flip and dip it to the back, wolves. Wolves everywhere. This is by a company named Pride. This is size XL. It's a very thin windbreaker. I thought it was like that Olympic one with all the basketball players that you get in a cereal box. This thing is epic. I've never seen this piece before. I've never seen anything like this actually. All right, there we go. Our first contestant starting strong with an all over print windbreaker. What? That's nuts. 
I'd have to say that's a pretty good start for a windbreaker. This is probably one of the coolest graphics you can get on a windbreaker. So rack to back with a solid start. I gotta take a deep breath, my heart is racing. You know what I'm anticipating? One of these guys had to have sent in like one of those uh, Art Unlimited, like Henley sweatshirts with the graphics all over them. One time I had an eagle next to a waterfall, front and back graphic craziness. If I see that piece in any of these packages, automatic dub, automatic. All right, second contestant is Romeo from Mostly Vintage. He got a big old box here. <laughs> oh, baby! Oh, this one is for me. There's two notes in here. This package says for Bob Dabra. The next package says for the reseller game. Mostly Vintage with a gift? Golly, man, I appreciate that. You don't have to do that. Um, the best thing. Do the best thing. I love this. I love the message on this. And it's got my favorite tag on it. One of my favorite tags, a beautiful color, a nice graphic. I am a teacher. I always support doing their best thing. Do the, do the right thing. Be a good person. Please and thank you. And then he also sent me a, a skulls and some graphics. What is this? Just another, yeah, graphic t-shirt. I appreciate you so much, man. You really didn't have to do that. But to be completely honest, this is the one that I want to see. And I can already tell you, it's gotten all over, you know, it's got a, gotten all over print. Graphic on it. What? Oh my gosh. All right, guys. You have the Richard Bird all over the world globe right here. The compass, the man with the plane flying around the world. Size XL. This would fit me. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. I've never seen this piece either. But you got the big front graphic. It's a globe. I don't know if you guys can tell it's a globe. And then you got the back graphic. It's a compass. Let me give you a closer look so you can make sense of this. There's the bag. And on the front, you got that the stamp here, Mr. Bird, and then Europe front facing on the globe. That's dope. In my opinion, this is like a crazy graphic. Who prints this big of a globe and this big of a compass onto a sweatshirt? Like, why was this ever made? This thing blows my mind and the graphics, the colors are beautiful, I love it. What a great piece from contestant number two, oh my God. Like I said, I'm a history teacher, so like this just tickles my fancy a little bit. I can connect with it, it's something I like. Whatever you guys like is what you get a vote for. Make sure to leave that comment down below. All right, our third contestant is Profit Monsters. He just did a really big vintage buyout, so I'm guessing the item he sent in is from that buyout. No way, is this an R Unlimited? Oh no, it's very close though. Beautiful graphics, and when I, when I initially made up this competition for game four, a graphic on a crew neck, this is exactly what I was thinking right here. You have a beautiful little farmhouse, a barn covered in snow. Kind of reminds me of my own town right now. This is timestamp 1995. Beautiful, get a close up look there. You got the tree, the frosted tree, frosted barn, and a little creek that might be iced over a little bit. Very nice graphic. Like I said, what I anticipated, you know, let's face it, this is a cool picture. This is a cool graphic. It's almost like a painting, but on a crew neck sweatshirt. So absolutely, 100%, this is a good contender for game four as well. Barn, a little creek, you got the snow. Like, don't you just want to be there? I want to go there. This might be the toughest decision yet. And we still have one more contestant. 20 years awesome. Go check him out. Can't wait to see what's in this. He's got some cool stuff. Ooh, he double packed it because we want that security. Yo, thanks for keeping us entertained at Rick. 20 years awesome. You're welcome. You know, we're all stuck inside. No sports on TV. Why not watch the reseller games? And oh, before I open this one up, that's a good point to make. This is reseller game four. I am going to kind of run the championship game and reseller game five at the same time. So we're gonna do the championship, but I'm also going to start a new bracket basically. And if you make it to the championship, I'm telling you right now, it will be worth it for you. If you win the championship, I will make it worth it. Wow. I've seen these online before. I've never had one and I've never found one. It's the graphic crew neck sweatshirt rather than the t-shirts. So I know like the NASCAR t-shirts are all over the place. The crew necks, however, are harder to come by. I think now this is the third game in a row that someone has sent in a NASCAR graphic. Impressions of a champion. I think he's trying to send us a little message here. He's trying to go to that championship. But yeah, you got a beautiful Hot Wheel on the front. And then of course, number three, Dale Earnhardt, baby. Another good contender. 
Okay, just like always, I'm gonna go spread these out on my floor because we put things on the floor here. Like the other games, I will give you guys my opinions first after a little rundown of all four contestants. My opinion, my vote will go down in the comments. It'll be the first one. And then it's up to you guys to vote on who you think sent in the coolest graphic. Let me give you one last look at these pieces. Guys, this decision is not going to be easy. Starting it off contestant one. Rack to back really started it off strong with this one. I've never seen an all over print windbreaker like this one. What a great start. And then moving to two. Mostly vintage. God, man, I can't get over this globe, honestly. But it's the back that does it for me. The compass on the back is just too good. I love it. That's a very bold graphic too. Drew from Profit Monsters sent in the classic winter scene. Looks like a painting. A very strong contender for reseller game four as well. I just love that this is like a like a, it's like a painting, but on a crew neck sweatshirt. And then ending it with the impressions of a champion, the NASCAR zoom in, and it's got a bad graphic. Oh man, it's gonna be a tough choice. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with the first vote, my vote, it's got to be for one of these pieces that if I went to my own closet and I was like, I want to wear a cool graphic today, one that really hits home to me, one that I like, the coolest graphic, I'm going to have to go with this one. I got to, you know, I got to give credit to the front and back, big, bold graphic. I just love this. I can't get over it. This is going to be from... Mostly vintage with my vote in the comments. You know what from doing these games my favorite part is seeing everybody's different perspectives on these same items. Everybody's been commenting like what they like and why they like that item and it's just crazy cool to see the different perspectives and the different like opinions that are coming into the comment section. Everybody likes a different graphic for a different reason and that is why you all get your own vote. And it's also why I really do think that these reseller games can bring the community together while appreciating the different perspectives of one another. But yeah, mostly vintage. You got my vote. This graphic is just too big and too bold. How can you not like it? And you know what? If I had to pick a number two like I did in the last couple of videos, I'd have to choose. I'd actually have to choose this one. I just can't get over the fact like... A graphic, someone has to create the graphic. So someone like actually drew this up and slapped it on a crew neck. That is a cool graphic. It literally looks like a painting, a picture that I would want to mount onto my wall. Once again, thank you to everybody who has participated in these games. They have been a blast and I can't wait to start round two with reseller game number five coming at you guys soon. Leave your vote and I'll see you guys on the next one.